Uh, hello everybody, I came with uh, the fifth uh, subtopics which is related to uh, the second movement of the earth which means revolution. So before we are going to look at the second movement of the earth, let us revise uh, the movement of the earth which means uh, the first movement rotation. So uh, when you come to the movement of the earth, there is nothing stationary in the universe. There is nothing stationary in the universe. The planets, the moons and other heavy bodies in the solar systems or in the universe rotates and revolves at different speed. So the whole thing which is found in the universe uh, are rotates and revolves but their speed is different so the earth has two uh, movements the earth has two movements those movements are called uh, rotation and revolution those movements are called rotation and revolution so uh, when you come to rotation rotation is the movements of the earth on its axis rotation is the movements of the earth on its axis so the earth takes about 24 hour or one day to complete one rotation around the axis the earth takes 24 hour or one day to complete one rotation around the axis uh, the earth is rotate from west to east the earth is rotate from west to uh, east uh, and the sun rises uh, in the east and sets in the west the sun rises in the east and uh, it sets in the west so the earth's axis of rotation the earth's axis of rotation is tilted at an angle of 23 and half degree the sun angle of rotation is uh, tilted an angle of 23 and half degree and it's perpendicular to the, orb the earth's orbit so the earth's axis is tilted 23 and half degree and uh, it is perpendicular to the earth's uh, orbit so uh, the tilt of the earth's axis the tilt of the earth's axis influences the amount of daylight or temperature the tilt of the earth's axis influences the amount of daylight or temperature and other weather patterns from season two season there are uh, many weather patterns those many weather patterns are influenced by the tilt of the earth's uh, axis from season two uh, seasons the other one is effects of earth's rotation the effects of the earth's rotation the first one is uh, rotation of day and night rotation of day and night so rotation creates a diurnal cycle of light darkness temperature and humidity changes so rot rotation creates a diurnal cycle of light and darkness temperature and humidity changes as the earth rotates on its axis as the earth rotates on its axis half of the earth just faces the sun half of the earth faces the sun and half of the earth is far away from the sun half of the earth is far away from the sun the second effects of earth's rotation is high and low tides high and low tides so high and low tides are the result of gravitational pull high and low tides are uh, the result of gravitational pull between uh, the sun and between the moon between the sun and between uh, the moon so uh, one of the forces is usually stronger than uh, the others uh, during uh, high and low tides one of the forces must be uh, greater than uh, the others this is all about the previous uh, lesson today we are going to look at uh, the revolution of the earth the revolution of uh, the earth so the revolution when you come to uh, the revolution of the earth revolution is the movement of the earth revolution is the movements of the earth around the sun revolution is the movements of uh, the sun uh, around, uh, revolution is the movements of the earth around uh, the sun in a fixed passes revolution is the movements of the earth in a fixed passes or uh, orbit the earth takes 365 days the earth takes 365 and one over four days to complete one revolution or one year uh, and the speed of the earth revolution is around 68,000 uh, mile per hour the earth, the earth's speed of revolution is 68,000 miles per hour as we know uh, one mile is equal to 1.6 uh, kilometer uh, so let us look the effects of uh, revolution of the earth uh, the effects of revolution of the earth the first one is variation in the lengths of day and night variation in the lengths of day and night so the revolution of the earth gives an impression the revolution of the earth gives an impression uh, that the uh, the sun the revolution of the earth gives an impression that the sun is moving north and south of the equator the revolution of the earth gives an impression that the sun is moving north and south of uh, the equator so there are uh, two uh, times uh, 
which looks like the sun is moving north in the south. The first one is equinox. The second one is solstice. So equinox is a time. Equinox is a time when the sun, when the sun faces at the equator, when the sun faces or directly at the equator, we call it equinox. This happens or equinox happens on March 21 and September 23. Equinox is a time when the sun is directly at the equator. This happens on March 21 and September uh, 23. So there is also uh, a time which is known as uh, solstice. Solstice is a time when the sun is faces directly at the Tropic of uh, Cancer or at the Tropic of Capricorn. So uh, there must be uh, two types of uh, solstice. The first one is uh, summer uh, solstice. Summer solstice is a time when the sun is directly at the Tropic of Cancer. Summer solstice is a time when the sun is directly at the Tropic of Cancer. This happens on June 21. Summer solstice is happens on June 21. So during summer uh, solstice, there must be longer day. In the northern hemisphere during summer solstice there must be longer day in the northern hemisphere and uh, longer night in the southern hemisphere longer night in the southern hemisphere which means uh, the sun will be at the northern hemisphere so northern hemisphere will receive uh, high amount of sunlight and uh, southern hemisphere is far from the sun so these areas or the southern hemisphere receives a longer uh, day uh, longer uh, night the second one is winter hemisphere uh, winter solstice winter solstice is a time when the sun is directly at the tropic of uh, cancer winter solstice is a time when the sun is directly at the tropic of cancer this happens on december 21 uh, winter solstice is happens on uh, December 21. During us this time, uh, the length of uh, day is uh, longer in the northern hemisphere. So uh, there must be longer uh, daylight in the northern hemisphere and also uh, longer night in the southern hemisphere. Longer night in the southern hemisphere. So during the two days, during the two days, uh, the day and nights are equal throughout the year during the two days the length of day and nights are uh, equal through the urges the second effects of uh, revolution is uh, seasonal changes the second effects of revolution is seasonal changes so the revolution of the earth cases the revolution of the earth cases the four seasons the revolution of the earth cases the four seasons namely summer or cramped namely summer or cramped ottoman or meher ottoman or meher winter or bega winter or bega and spring or belg or tsade. spring belg or tsade. so those are the effects of earth's revolution so uh, this is enough for today uh, on the next uh, topic we are uh, going to look external components of uh, the earth's uh, thank you for your attention have a nice time